Welcome to the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show, a real estate investment program. Listen and learn how to use real estate to build wealth and passive income streams for you and your family. We bring you experts every day to discuss and answer your questions on everything from single family homes all the way up to 600 plus unit apartment complexes. And now, the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show. Welcome to the show. My name is Al Gordon, and as always, we're working on your financial freedom. On today's show, I've got a question for you. Have you ever sat down and imagined what life could be like if you could retire yourself and you could go anywhere you wanted? I mean, what comes to mind? What do you think about? Do you think about maybe retiring on a sandy beach or maybe somewhere where there's beautiful mountains or some other place that has always captivated you. Well, I'll be honest with you. I think about those things and I think about those things from time to time. And when I start to think about those things, I start to think about a Lifestyles Unlimited member that I have met. His name is Josh, and about six years ago, what he decided to do was realize a dream, and he essentially realized that he had plenty of passive income coming in based on investments that he had made in real estate. So what he did was he picked everything up and he moved to the Florida Keys. And now every day is an adventure for him. He steps out into his backyard and he can get onto his boat. He can from there go out and go do some tarpon fishing or fish for other species that, you know, are in season. Or what he can really do is is something that he and I both have a passion for, which is scuba dive. And I'll tell you what, you know, when you're able to achieve your dreams and the root cause for achieving those dreams was learning how to invest in real estate and making those investments correctly and accumulating those assets so that the income coming off of those assets can create that opportunity for you. That is, is a winning recipe. And what I've asked for is I've asked Josh to come back on the show. He was on the show about a year ago, and I'll tell you what, he had a compelling story back then. And his story today is even more impressive because he has continued along his path of real estate investing, and it is producing more fruit from the vine. Josh, are you there? I'm here, Al. How's it going? Oh, man, it is so good to talk to you. It's been a year since you and I have had a chance to chat. I know. As time flies, it doesn't seem like it's that long. You have got to come out here and go diving with you. You've got to make that happen. Yes, sir. You know what? And I've, I've got that standing invitation, and I've got to make that happen because, I mean, not only can you show me some of the coolest places on the planet, but we can hang out and talk real estate, too. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'd love to have you and uh, your son as well. I've got a couple of sons that dive with me, uh, so it, it'd be a lot of fun. And uh, I'm, I'm sure I can learn a thing or two about real estate from you as well. Well, let's get right into it. I mean, you've been kind of busy. I mean, last year when we talked, you were at some like 43 doors of real estate. You were um, you had a combination of single family houses. You had some duplexes, some fourplexes. If I recall correctly, you were invested in a 13 unit apartment community that you had you had sold some single family properties and did a 1031 exchange into that. What what have you been doing since the last time we've talked? I I actually acquired another multifamily, a small six-unit apartment complex over in Fort Myers. Uh, it was a, a very rewarding, even though a smaller complex, because my oldest son is a partner with me in that deal. Uh, so it was super happy to see my real estate journey kind of come full circle. And uh, so I'm a partner with my oldest son in a six-unit apartment, and that's going great. And then I don't know. I don't know if this would be a regression or not, but I, I came home to Houston over Christmas break last year, in 2019. And I'm just home for a couple weeks, just visiting family and friends, and I ended up buying. 
two single family homes. It wasn't planned. I wasn't trying to do that. <laughs> um, but uh, I guess there, there was a couple of homes that some buddies had uh, that had flooded in a Melda fluke thing. It never flooded before or whatever. Uh, and uh, they just didn't want to deal with it. And they used to like, Hey man, I know you have how or whatever. It was just too good. A deal. I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, so I bought a couple of houses there. Um, and then I added a couple more passive uh, investments as well uh, with a, you know, lifestyles uh, lead investor. And I'm a passive in, in, in a, uh, probably yeah, two more deals since we talked last time. So where where are you at on those passive deals? You you've you eclipsed the thousand unit mark yet? I am. I'm over a thousand units. I think about I think a thousand fifty roughly. Uh, so that that was exciting to go go over that. I I uh, I don't usually mention that when people ask me, you know, how many doors I have or whatever, because I don't personally control them. And then and then my son's like, well, Dad, you're you're a part owner, whatever your small part, you should say, you know, you should add that to your total of tours. You know, it's just, I, it, it, it's, uh, it's a great though. It's great. I'm, I'm glad to be a part of that. And, uh, it's completely passive. And, and, uh, like, uh, like Dell was saying last hour I was on, it's like, yeah, the checks just show up in my bank account. Uh, so it's pretty exciting. And as I enjoy the lifestyle more and more, I think I'm kind of leaning to that way. Um, uh, cause it, you don't have to do anything. You just enjoy enjoy the profits. Yeah, it's it's a it's a good thing when you get when you get that machine working for you. You can't help but reinvest back into that machine. Am I correct? That's it. That's it. So I, I was very skeptical um, for a long time, and you know how you go to the seminars or you go to the expo, and and you know there's a tendency, even though I'm a member, I'm totally believe in the lifestyle's way, and I'll tell anybody that. When you hear the numbers, uh, the returns on the passives in the seminars, like, that could never happen to me, you know, no way. You know, I'm just slow to come to the party, um, and, and uh, I was sharing, I guess, also Dell there a little bit, that it was a process for me to have to give up control because that's all I've done. I, my single family, my small multifamily, uh, I'm the guy. The buck stops with me, and I'm confident in my abilities. It's just hard to give money to someone else to do something that I know how to do. Yeah, but you've done a very good job. When we come back from the break, we're going to get into some of those deals right after this. The Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show. We're here to answer your questions and help you become financially free. Welcome back to the show. So, Josh, this real estate investing endeavor that you started on had to start somewhere. Give us give us the beginning roots of your real estate investing history. How did all this get started for you? Well, the very beginning, going all the way back, um, even before lifestyles, is uh, we we just needed a bigger house. Uh, we had one kid. We had a second on the way. We had a very small house that we moved into when we were newlyweds. Uh, we got married uh, in 1993, um, and we we needed a four bedroom. We wanted to move from a three bedroom to a four bedroom, and. Uh, I didn't make a lot of money, and luckily, or, or just a blessing, uh, 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 there was a realtor in my church, and she said, hey, I'll, I'll list it for free. I mean, you, you know, I, I'll work with you. I'll help you guys or whatever, and it was just such a blessing. And she's come over to the house, and we're going to sign up the papers, and she just made a comment. She's like, well, I, I, I wish you could rent this house out. I don't have enough rentals. I could rent this house in a second um, if you don't need the money uh, to transfer into the into your new house. And something just like alarm bell went off or whatever. I just was curious as a, I was like, well, how much could you rent it for? And at that time, I think she said eleven hundred back then. Well, my note and everything was only five fifty, and I'm like, um, hmm, five hundred dollars a month over. I was like, yeah, let's try that. And that was how I actually got started. It just on a happenstance because I made a comment to the realtor, I'm going to be 
sad to part with this house. Uh, you know, we, we were newlyweds. I carried my wife across the threshold. We had our first child here. I just hate to part with it. And that's when she's like, well, you don't have to turn it into a rental. And uh, I had that one rental house for five years because I'm just so conservative, you know, five years of getting that mailbox money. And, and, that, and, and, and then I saw a little ad in the paper. This is how far back I go. A little small little ad that says lifestyles unlimited. It's not the money. It's the lifestyle, real estate investing. You know, I was like, you know what? I've got this one real house. It's working out great. Let me call this number. And then my whole world was opened up. You know, that that's kind of how it started. So then I got the courage and, and the belief that if I can do it with one, well, why can't I do it with a second? And then so on and so on. And then once I was going to the meetings and hearing the success, you know, that, that propelled me. Um, and then I got kind of busy and where, uh, you know, luckily for me, or, uh, again, another blessing, you know, timing, sometimes God's in it or what, but uh, I, I was just hitting that stride where I got this, it's clicking, Lifestyles has given me the confidence, you know, right around 2009, 2010, as, as the market collapsed. And uh, so then I, I got crazy and was able to buy a number of houses at a tremendous discount um, during that time, 2009, 2010, 2011. Uh, and, and that's just been an incredible, incredible uh, thing there. So, uh, that's the beginning stages. Want me to keep yeah, going? <laughs> yo, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of sitting back here just going, lay it all on the line, Josh. I want to hear this. Cause this, cause this is compelling information. You know, I think, I think the listeners really want to understand that, by investing in real estate, you can make a significant change in your life. And no matter what your experience is, no matter where you come from, no matter how much money you start with, you've got to get started. Would you agree? Absolutely. That That's the number one thing that I tell people, um, it, it, because of partly from my own experience, uh, is belief level is such a big thing. And people can get paralyzed with, oh, I could never do what you do. I could never have as many houses as apartments. I could never do that. Don't think like that. Just get your first rent house. <laughs> That's what I did. I had that one. Just get one, and you're infinitely better off. Uh, so that's where it starts, and and we'll worry about getting you, you know, twenty more after that. But but get the first one under your belt, and uh, start your journey. There's no better time to start than now, especially now with the interest rates the way that they are. Uh, it's incredible. Um, so yeah, I mean that's it. And uh, I, I, as I gained confidence, I, I started growing and started you know, moving into fourplexes and, and duplexes and they provided a little bit more cash flow than single family. And that was exciting. And then I got a small mobile home park and that was really exciting. Uh, but I knew from the very beginning that, that multifamily was the way to go, but it just took me a longer time to get there. You know, I, I saw it at the very first two day when I joined well, all those years ago. Um, but you know, everybody moves at their own pace. And, uh, so, uh, thankful that I stayed with it and was able to make that transition into multifamily. And then as we were talking over the break, you know, uh, finally the light bulb went off. Hey, this passive thing's not too bad. We'll let somebody else do all the work, and I still enjoy all the all the benefits. Uh, so that's kind of kind of where I'm at in, in my journey. And we can break it down and kind of get into it. But that's it. How, how important was the educational program at Lifestyles Unlimited to you for helping you t along in this journey? Well, uh, very important. The, 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 the technical classes and the training, you have to have that. You have to have that knowledge. I do not want to short-circuit that at all. What I found was um, I got so comfortable, I could do single family kind of in my sleep. You know, I could do the deal on the napkin in five seconds, and I understood it. And, and part of you know, my journey at that point, I, either I got big headed or I got comfortable, mainly comfortable. You know, we all get comfortable at a certain level and we kind of relax on our laurels. So I let, I actually let my membership go inactive for several years because I lived up in the, you know, 
uh, actually opposite side of town of where the lifestyles offices were. And this was back before there was online and you could do everything. And I was like, man, now I got young kids. I, I'm working a full time job. I got a ton of single family. I feel like, man, I can't get off work and then drive an hour and a half for Houston traffic to get all the way over to the west side. So I just said, like, God, oh, I'm doing good. You know, I'm doing good. So I, I was just content. And, and I was doing, I was blessed. Don't get, I mean, I'm not knocking it. You know, I, I have a very good amount of passive income. I owe it all to lifestyles and, uh, and, and helping me see that. So long answer to your question, you got to have that technical knowledge, and I got that technical knowledge. But for me, um, bigger than that is the belief that you can do it. And you have to have that. You have to understand that, hey, these are real people. And I, I'm just like anybody else, right? I, I would stay up late at night before Lifestyle. I'd watch the infomercials and, you know, hey, send this money and we'll send you this real estate kit. And it was always somebody in California or New York. Or I'm like, how do I even know that guy's real? I, I'm not going to buy their kit. But when I found Lifestyles, Houston, oh, that's local. If it is a scam, if it's not real, I'll just go sit in the lobby till they give me money back because it's local. You know, it's not like trying to track somebody down in California. So that was my rationing, my reasoning, I guess, at that time was, hey, if it's not real, if it's a scam, at least they're local, I'll go pound on their door and get my money back. And and that's what, what, what helped me get through is just the belief level. Okay, they're real. They're local. I'm listening to these people. They've achieved these various levels of success. Well, why can't I do it? I can do it, too. Yeah, I agree. You know, I, I, I came to Lifestyles Unlimited with a, a hint of skepticism, actually a little more than that. And you know what? I found out that everything they said was on par with legitimacy. Hey, we'll be back right after this. Welcome back to the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show. Now, let's get back to your map to financial freedom. Welcome back to the show. If you're just joining us, I have a longtime member of Lifestyles Unlimited, Josh, on with me today. And we're just we're talking about different things with regards to real estate investing. We're, we're talking about how he got started, how he grew his portfolio. And it, an amazing thing happened at the break. Um, we were just kind of chatting about the things that we chat about between, you know, two lifestyles members and his phone was blowing up and he, and he had to pause and say, hang on, let me, let me find out why my, my phone is blowing up. Josh, you want to pick up that story from there? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Part of my my real estate journey, I had a, I had a new light bulb moment just now. So it just happens to be uh, the first of the month, and this is when this was scheduled um, uh, several weeks back. And uh, I never connected the dots. So I'm talking to you on the radio, uh, doing this interview. Had planned it, kind of blocked it out. And, and, and my good friends, my close friends, my family, my wife, hey, don't disturb me, don't come in. <laughs> you know, I got to do this. But my phone just kept pinging. And I was like, man, what is going on? What is happening? And so I finally paused, looked at the phone, and I was like, oh, that's my bank telling me more rent is being deposited, like multiple. Here's the rent. Here's the rent. Here's the rent. I was like, I, I guess that's okay. You can you can keep pinging me. So it, it was kind of like, wow, that's pretty deep. I'm talking about real estate and talking about my journey, and at the same time, the rent's just pouring in. So it, it was it was kind of a a watershed moment just now for me, just my own personal little epiphany there. So pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's, you know, that's pretty cool from my perspective too, because, you know, we're, we're talking about real estate. We're talking about how you build this, this asset base so that you can get to the point where you're living the life that you desired to live, you know, essentially retiring yourself and, and your business model is producing income for you and you're not doing anything other than talking to me on the radio. Yeah, pretty wild, huh? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. I don't think we I don't think you know if if we had like a bank of producers and stuff like that, I don't think we could have come up with that concept. Yeah, it was uh, it blew me away. That's why I had to share it with you during the break. It's like you're not going to believe this. I mean, I I know it. I know it. To, you know, it's the first. It should be happy. But it just to see it while I'm talking about it, 
and it's, I'm just I'm blessed. I'm really blessed. So one of the things I want to do, Josh, I, I want to kind of get into the transition from single family to multifamily. What what finally occurred in your life to make you step across that threshold? You know, get out of that comfort zone of buying single family properties and then exploring that multifamily world. Well, as I shared, um, when you go to the two day, and this is a long time ago when I first joined, um, the, the first day is on the single family and the second day is on the multifamily. And I got it immediately. At my very first exposure to lifestyles, the numbers made sense. I just kind of like, yeah, that's what I need to do. But, you know, to me, this was that big, giant purchase. I don't have that kind of – I cannot do that. So, unfortunately, or fortunately, you know, really it's fortunately, but I have to start with single family. I'm glad I started, which is the moral of that. I'm glad I didn't just think about it and not do anything, which a lot of people do. So I did start – and at, at that time, I was, uh, you know, newly married, young guy, young kids, um, and just couldn't conceive of how I could do a multifamily, but I understood it. And I was like, one day, one day. And then, as, you know, you just get comfortable. Uh, as I was sharing, you know, you have all this single-family homes, and, and, and the passive income was great. It was such to the point that I was able to, you know, retire and move to an island. So it, it's not too shabby. But I always knew that multifamily was the way to go. Um, and so um, in 2018, I guess, uh, I still followed Lifestyles and kept up with everything. They they were coming out to Miami uh, to do a seminar. As, as we all know, Lifestyles is national now and growing and offices everywhere. And so yeah. I was like, you know what? I, I'm going to go check it. I, I need to do this. This, this could be, you know, the moment here. Um, and so I went to that and got re-energized and went to the two day again in Miami. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to reactivate and let's get busy. Let's do it. And I, I'm in a better position now, I, obviously. And I, I believed it better. And it was just part of my progression and my journey. You know, Dell always says, um, you're going to do it. You're not going to do what I tell you to do. Write this in the book. And I wrote it in the book. And uh, I probably should have made the transition uh, sooner and, and transferred a lot of my single family and rolled it into multifamily. But I'm glad I did it now. So when, when I reactivated in 2018, I was like, let's, let's do this, and, and uh, was able to acquire a 13-unit and a 6-unit that I shared uh, there and uh, then – was ready to go for bigger, you know, hey, now I'm ready for a 40 or 50 unit. Um, but then the passive, I was like, man, this still does take some of my time, and uh, I can't scuba dive as much as I want, and let's let's look into this passive thing. And so I went to the expo, whatever, probably 2018 or 20, yeah, 2018, 2019, whatever, one year of the expo a couple years back, and went to the passive class and heard some of the, the deals there, and I was like, whoa. You know, this is amazing. And uh, there's another gentleman here in South Florida. Part of the, There's a lot of Lifestyles members in the Miami area, and I've been able to meet with them and, and uh, uh, get to know them. And one of them has had a tremendous amount of success on the passive investing. So that helped. Uh, I know this guy personally was able to, to talk with him and meet with him. And so I was like, yeah, let's try this. And as I shared, I think briefly before a break here, it was hard to then. Okay, the next step is giving up that control. I hear this. It sounds great. Um, but I'm glad I did that because now that's doing very, very well as, as well. So um, that's been the progression. I think I'll continue to uh, trade in some of my single family every few years and roll it into uh, multifamily and most and probably passive, probably passive, uh, just because I'm just having too much fun here in, in the island. <laughs> Well, I mean, you're the one that created that lifestyle. You might as well take advantage of enjoying it, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. So as as you get further into that multifamily world, uh, obviously one of the things that you're discovering is that time is a very important commodity to you, and you're making some investing decisions today based on the fact that, that time is involved. So if, if you were to go back, let's say, I don't know, 
10 years and you had the opportunity to make some decisions then that you didn't make, but you're considering today, what do you think the difference in your lifestyle might have been? Well, that's scary. I, 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 when I do think on that, and I, I, I do give it some thought from time to time, what if I would have um, five, eight, nine years ago, because I had quite a bit of single family, um, uh, you, you see some, some of these, you know, really, really successful guys in lifestyles um, that are lead investors or have very large portfolios of multifamily, and, and, and i sure I would have been in there. I would have been right up there. There's no reason why I couldn't. I know that now. You know, I didn't believe it then, uh, but it just took me a while. So uh, I know that would, you know, I don't want to put a number on it. it it's to, I don't want to blow anybody's mind. You, you and I know this, Al, but probably probably millions of dollars wow. literally probably millions and that's that's not a joke i mean that's, yeah. that's real <laughs> yeah that's i'm just what... i'm just kind of sitting back and i'm i'm trying to keep up with you to be honest with you because um you know it's it's one of those things where and i hear this from member after member after member if if i had only done x back then i would have so much more financial freedom today because there would be more opportunity. But, you know, I didn't want to turn this into a gotcha game or anything like that. All I really wanted to point out is that when you have the benefit of hindsight, things can look very clear. And when you understand what the past could have been, it can only have a positive impact on your future. And we'll be back right after this. Lifestyles Unlimited Executive Vice President, Business Consultant, and Successful Real Estate Investor, Lynn Murrow, on the critical difference between those who succeed and those who fail. Whether you have a small business, whether you are running a division of a large corporation, whether you're a CEO of a Fortune 100 company listening to us right now, or whether you work for somebody else, you have an area of responsibility and you are presented with a novel challenge by a novel virus that's going on right now. And the key key to all of that is keeping your head up and looking for opportunity when what you want to do is curl up in a ball and uh, and go to sleep. And it's that is the critical difference between people who succeed right now and people who fail. Lifestyles Unlimited has been helping people succeed since 1990. Join us for our free online real estate workshop and learn the seven principles we teach to run our business and provide for our families. Register at lifestylesunlimitedworkshop.com. Warning, listening to the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show will change your life. We will teach you how to create wealth and passive income so you can be financially free. And now, back to your host. Welcome back to the show. So, Josh, I've got a question for you that I, I get a lot from the listeners of this radio show, and it has to do with, you know, where you live, and it has to do with where your properties are. So, where are the bulk of your properties located, the ones that you're invested in? Uh, Houston. Houston. And where are you? I'm in Isla Mirada, Florida, the Florida Keys, about two hours south of Miami. So I'm thinking that's about a 1,500-mile swim if you're going to go visit your properties. Yeah, it'd be better to fly. But right. Probably would be better. Yeah. Well, I don't know. COVID environment, and, and you are a scuba diver. That could be a very interesting trip. Absolutely. So here's the question. How important is it to be co-located with your properties? Uh, well, again, that was a journey and a progression. Uh, so I'm happy to tell you what I've arrived at. Um, now it's not important at all. Uh, if you have the right team um, and the right partners uh, with with you on your team to do the stuff for you, you can live anywhere and invest anywhere. So that's I didn't believe that all the time, you know. Um, so I 
I got a, when I first moved here, I got a property manager. Because again, part of my progression. Oh, I, I can't, I can't do that. I can't, that can't work. Um, so I, ha- I, you know, and now I've learned. Hey, well, I'm just, the property manager is great, but why am I paying them? I'm, I'm still getting a call anyway. You know, so if I'm still getting a call, I'm still involved. I'm. I remembered when I was living in Houston, and things would go wrong. Let's say an AC went out or whatever the problem was. I didn't go to the property then. So why do I think I have to be close to the property? Most of the time I didn't go. I just send my contractor, you know, I just send, yeah. you know, so yeah, you don't have to have that. It, again, I didn't, I didn't do it the right way at first. And, uh, I had a property manager for a few years while I was here, and, uh, but, but no, take my word for it. Yeah. You do not have to live where your properties are. So, I mean, the, the the concept of the property management really was, I think, to give you peace of mind and, you know, uh, the, here, I'll, I'll play, I'll play Dr. Phil with you to help you enjoy the freedom that you obtained. No, you're right about that. It was what I could digest at the time, you know, as I, even though I knew on paper, okay, I have enough passive income to live in the Florida Keys and enjoy my life here it still was scary it was a scary thing to do i mean it was terrifying you know to leave my job and and, you know even though okay i'm looking this on paper i think it's going to work out but it was just a lot of unknowns and so the property manager was part of that process okay it helped me get here you know well i have to do that i have to do that yeah yeah, i got somebody local that's going to manage them so that that was part of that evolution um and, and that's why i keep going back just just start you know just get started and 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 do something uh, whether it's one rent house uh it, it's infinitely better uh than not doing anything would, would you say that real estate is generally forgiving in other words you you could make some mistakes along the way and you won't get crushed in the process very forgiving, very forgiving. I can honestly say, uh, knock on wood or, or thank God above, I have never lost money. Um, so that's uh, an, a tremendous, tremendous blessing, and I'm, I'm so grateful for that. I, I'm not, I, I'm not saying people don't lose money in real estate, but with the lifestyle system and building the team and learning it the right way, it's very forgiving, even if you make a lot of mistakes, which I did, of course. Uh, so I, I made a lot of mistakes, and, 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 and again, if I had dialed it in a little bit tighter uh, with, with lifestyles, maybe I could have avoided some of it. But, but as I've said a couple of times now, it, it, it's one thing to understand the roadmap and you intellectually, oh, that's what I should do. It's another thing to believe it, you know. So you, you hear it, you receive it, and then you believe it. And, and that's what, why lifestyles are so powerful for me. And uh, so, so, yeah, I've made a lot of mistakes. I did a lot of things wrong. I didn't do what Dale tells you to do on several things, and I don't want to bore everybody with that. But it's still uh, I'm infinitely better than what I would have been otherwise not, not investing in real estate. So what is what does the future look like for you and your family? What's the game plan? Well, uh, right now, just continue to enjoy life here. Uh, this is our home, our family here. I have two kids still in the house that are going to school, and and we probably won't do any big moves or big changes until they get through high school. Um, I, I've followed a couple of other lifestyles members, uh, social media and stuff that you know kind of travel around in RVs and travel around the country, and that that has some appeal uh, to to my wife and I at some you know at some point. It's not for lack of money; we could do it right now. Uh, it's just having the, the kids here and, and the kids are in school. So I, I see that. I think that'd be kind of cool, you know, to travel around the country in an RV and let my real estate investments pay for it all. Uh, so that that's kind of a bucket list thing that, uh, that we are looking at. Uh, I will continue to invest in real estate because I just flat out enjoy it. I enjoy talking to you about it. I, I enjoy meeting with other investors and, and it, it's, it's fun. It's fun to develop and, and buy a property right and fix it up and 
and uh, see the income that it creates, and it's very rewarding. Uh, so we're going to continue to do that, as I was sharing. It'll Right now, I'm kind of infatuated with the, the passive investing uh, because it's so hands-off, and, and you really um, can pool your money with a, a large group and, and, and own a piece of an asset that you otherwise couldn't own on your own. And uh, so it's the power of multiplication, right? So when the refi comes, um, you know, uh, it's, it's usually bigger and more powerful. Uh, than you could do on your own. So uh, I, I'm a, I'm a, I have to do it myself first, right? So that's what I shared the last time I was on your show a year ago. I had to do it yep, myself first. I remember first. that. And yeah. <laughs> once, once I did it with all my single families and rolled it and got the money out and was able to, you know, I was like, okay, now I believe it. That's what it takes for me. I'm, so, I'm, I, I have to, I don't know why. I, I wish I could just hear Dale say it and just do it, but I'm stubborn. So I was like, I have to try it myself see that it really works, oh, okay, and now I can trust someone else to do it that's, you know, really wants to do that, and I want to scuba dive, so it works out great. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, you're, I mean, you're living the lifestyle that I have positioned in my mind a couple of years down the Rhine, not, road. I, now, I don't know if I'll, you know, move to the Florida Keys, but I certainly want to figure out a way to come hang out with you for a little while and do some of that wonderful diving and fishing that are just, it's just part of the lifestyle you've created. See, that's what will happen. Maybe you're like me. You'll come here and visit me for a week or so. We'll, we'll do all kind of diving, and then you can, you know, see it, believe it, and then maybe you'll buy a house next to mine. That'd be cool. Now, now you got my wheels turning. You got got all my wheels turning, and now, now I'm not even talking about real estate. Now, now it's all about me. No, I'm just kidding. But um, talk to me a little bit about the legacy that you will leave when it's time for you to depart this planet. Well, um, one of the things I haven't really touched on uh, that's important to my wife and I is giving back. And part of the freedom of not having to punch a clock or work a daily job is is having the time to do things uh, to give back. And so I've enjoyed doing that since I got here. Uh, one of the things I'm, I'm really proud of be a part of is uh there was a uh, a, a local christian school here in the keys as uh, the, the only private christian school in, in the florida keys um and uh they were short on funds and needed some fundraising and so we got together and we put on a boat show and uh we raised a tremendous amount of money uh, to help subsidize the, uh, that school. And, and uh, uh, so that th- those are the types of rewarding things that we like to do is to give back and, and, and serve. So I, I, I like that. That's a legacy there. And then to see my kids fall in love with real estate and understand it at a younger age. I, I mentioned my oldest is 23, and we just partnered on, on his first deal on that small six unit apartment complex and and he's already hungry and looking for his second deal and uh, my second son is 20 he's a sophomore at university of houston uh so i miss him i haven't seen him in a while because of covid uh so he's there in h-town and we're here and uh, uh he wants to do real estate as well when he gets out of college and, and starts earning income so uh helping them see the light much quicker than than it than I did is very rewarding and, and for them to start so early, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy about that. Yeah. I think it's, it's pretty cool that you've, you've built a small dynasty. I don't know, maybe that's the wrong word, but that's the word that seemed to fit for me. And you're living off of the fruits of what you've built and that everything that you've built can be passed on to those that you love when it's time to go. I think, Josh, I mean, you know what? You, you've got the whole thing figured out, and you're doing great. I want to I want to say thank you so much for being on the show today. And for those of you out there that want to get started, what you need to do right now is go to freeworkshoplivestream.com. That's freeworkshoplivestream.com. And remember, it's not the money. It's the lifestyle. The Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show is for entertainment purposes only. Please consult a professional regarding your personal investment needs. Nothing presented on the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show constitutes an endorsement recommendation, offer, or solicitation to buy or sell any product or security.